this um, patient who came to us seeking to have refractive surgery, LASIK surgery, and he wasn't a candidate because he was a he has keratoconus, which is a corneal dystrophy. So he couldn't see very well at all. I mean, his best corrected vision was like 2200. And Dr. Reed said, no, sorry, you can't do the surgery. Come back and see Dr. Seidel. Maybe he can fit you in, in special contact lenses to get you some vision back. So I fit these contacts on him. He's like, ah, these aren't going to work. And because it, it, it's a very tedious process to fit a, a keratoconic patient and get him to see well. It takes several visits. So he left and he was supposed to come back in a week. He never, he, he didn't come back. So months go by and then he's on my schedule again. I fit him with these other lenses and kept trying this lens, that lens until one worked. At the very end of the exam, I, I, I got the right lens for him. And he was actually reading the 2020 line. And the guy just changed instantly. He was like, dude, I can see the, I can see the line. Oh my God, this is great, I can't believe it. So he was so excited. So, and I was too because you know, it's a good feeling to make somebody be able to see you who was having trouble. So we go up front to check out, and I'm gonna see him back in a week. So we stop at the front desk, and our waiting room is, is very large, and we have sometimes five doctors working at one time, so we could have maybe 30, 40 people in the waiting room. He, he kept grabbing my arm and saying, dude, I can totally see. And he looked out the window, and there's an office next door to us that has a, a sign with, you know, the, the office spaces on there. And he's all, Dude, I can totally see that sign. I can't believe it. He said, I'm like a blind man that's been made to see for the first time, and you're like, Jesus. And the whole waiting room just erupted into laughter. And I felt so good. So it's things like that that make this job rewarding.